This craft is a very easy and simplistic one, but it's a great way to add some inexpensive holiday decor to your home. You're gonna to wanna to start by taking three glass containers. I chose this milk jug style because I already had them on hand, but you're just gonna to wanna to find some small glass containers that look similar to this. Next, you're gonna take some white acrylic paint. You can add a little bit of water to the paint if your acrylic paint is thick. If it's runny enough, then you shouldn't need to add any water for this next step. Mix the paint good just to make sure it's all smooth. Once your paint is a good pourable consistency, you're gonna to wanna to pour it into your glass container. You're gonna to wanna to slowly turn the glass container until the paint coats every area of the glass. Make sure not to miss any spots. Once you've made sure that the glass is completely coated with the paint, pour out any extra paint back into the cup. Wipe off any extra paint that may have gotten on the outside of the container. Then repeat this step on your other two glass containers. Once they're all coated in paint, set them upright so that they can dry. Once your glass containers have had time to completely dry, you can start to fill them. Be careful not to scratch them with anything that you do fill them with. Because the paint is on the inside of the container, it can scratch, so just be extra careful when filling the containers. For this first example, I chose to use some silver glittery decorative stems that I found at the Dollar Tree. I feel like this is a great wintry look and has a very clean, simple, modern style. For this next example, I'm using some red frosted berries that I also found at the Dollar Tree. I also found this cinnamon broom. Um, it was located in the craft and floral section of the Dollar Tree. So after I put all my frosted red berries into the containers, I pulled apart the cinnamon broom that I found. I was able to cut it apart and remove the individual little sticks. I was then able to stuff groupings of the little sticks into my containers. You can leave these containers just as they are, or I decided to go one step further and just tie a small, simple twine bow to the front of them. I love the look of these frosted red berries in the white containers, and with the cinnamon added to them, they smell so amazing. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you haven't checked out my other holiday crafts, you can go ahead and check those out as well if you'd like. I have some more Christmas crafts coming out soon, so I hope you'll check back to see those as well. And if you've enjoyed today's video, I hope you'll leave a comment letting me know what you think, as well as subscribing to the channel. I hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching.